hope you're having a wonderful day. I have a brand new Aesthetica wig to show you guys, but before I do, let me tell you about the hair piece I have on today. This is the topper that you've probably seen a gazillion times, but it's still the best and definitely worth mentioning. This is the John Renault Synthetic Top Style in the 18 inch length. The color is 10H16. Um, I have it twisted back here at the top and then braided down the side. This is kind of my go-to for summer. It's very easy to wear back. Um, just a great overall easy synthetic topper to wear. So check it out, the John Renault Top Style. Okay, the uh, Aesthetica wig I'm showing you guys today is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to try this on. But this is Lachlan and the color I am showing you is R826H. So this is a uh, medium golden brown, definitely more of a warm brown color and then it has some golden blonde highlights in it to give it a beautiful dimensional look it is not rooted the highlights go all the way to the root um, but overall just a warm beautiful um, kind of dimensional brown piece now the structure of the cap is a lace front and then a mono top as you can see the lightest blonde is here in the front and i've noticed a lot of wig manufacturers are starting to do this where they're putting the lighter pieces into the lace at the front to disguise the knots if it's a darker color overall. So I'm curious to see how that is going to look blended in with the rest of the fibers. But the length on this, we have a 17 inch side, 22 inches from the crown, 15 inches from the nape, and overall about five ounces. All right, I am gonna go try her on so you can see what she looks like. Be screenshot ready, here is Aesthetica's Lachlan. Here she is. This is Lachlan. I absolutely love her. She is so natural looking. I didn't realize that this was such a low density wig when I was holding her, but once I got her on my head, I realized how low density she was and um, how natural and beautiful she is. So this does not look like a wig to me. This does not have like the helmet head, kind of thick, dense uh, clump of fibers up top that some wigs do. Uh, very lightweight. The fibers feel wonderful. They're silky. Um, so just overall, first impression, great, great piece. I love the layers to it. They're not too short. They're not too long. Um, they kind of break up the length a little bit. And the density at the bottom matches the density at the top, which I really like. I don't like it when it looks really thick at the top and then the ends get really scraggly. Um, this is a great balance of the density from the top to the bottom. So I think they did a great job with the, um, the style and the cut of the layers. Um, absolutely beautiful. Now I mentioned in the first part of the video that the highlight piece here, again, this is the color R826H. So this lightest blonde color um, was taken here to the front to disguise um, the lace. So I don't, I mean, it's not my very, very favorite that it's kind of heavy up here. As you can see, there is a big contrast between the blonde and the darker brown, but um, it is one of the more blended pieces that I've seen. Some just look so stark that it doesn't look natural at all. But this one is really pretty and you can kind of disguise it underneath the layer. But if you wanted to pull this off of your face, I think they did a really great job on the lace it's very natural looking and again they've taken the uh the blondest piece and they've put it here in the front so um, you don't see a lot of the knots of the darker brown so you could wear it off your face because the lace um, is really good the knotting is really good so if you wanted to well definitely don't do that that would that would not be cute <laughs> but if you wanted to pull it back a little bit you definitely could have that option and you could do that with this piece. So again, this is a mono top, so you could part it any direction that you want. Um, it does look really good from what I can see. It looks very natural up top. And yeah, I really, really like this piece. I think they did a great job with the density. Um, again, it just looks really natural. Now this is a very long piece, so it is going to tangle. So your best bet with long pieces is to just gently pick through any tangles with a wide tooth comb. Try not to pull um, any knots that you get. Just kind of work through it and definitely give it a good um, gentle comb when you are done with it. So as it sits, it um, just kind of sits all combed out and smooth. 
This is not heat friendly, so don't use any heat tools on this, um, but she should stay looking beautiful for a while if you take good care of her. Um, synthetic long pieces tend to, and see if they're already getting tangly in the back, um, kind of around the nape where it rubs against your back and your shoulders. So just be aware that she is gonna be a little more uh, tangly than a short piece. All right, I think she's absolutely beautiful. I think you should definitely check her out if you're in the market for a long synthetic piece. Again, this is Lachlan. The color is R826H, a beautiful uh, medium warm brown with some golden blonde highlights running through it. All right, if you need Lachlan in your life, head on over to Wigs by Patty'sPearls.com. Aesthetica is the manufacturer, Lachlan is the style, and this is the color R826H. I will see you guys next time.